pretty well settled down in Toronto when I met my wife. But then when the rents got way too expensive, we decided to come here. I separated and my wife was raising my son and I was on my own and then I got into a major work accident. And after a while, when my wife passed away and I ended up with my son, for the first five years, I just hid in my basement. All my family's up north. I lost my wife. I lost, uh, pretty well lost everybody. When I started at my company, we have uh, the Sun Trade uh, campaign. At the same time, at a certain point, the uh, leader of our Sun Trade campaign uh, dropped off on my desk the documents to become a leader. And it was exactly at the same time that I had uh, just uh, adopted a small kitten. And so when I got home, I started opening up all these different kinds of food. And of course, which one did she choose? The most expensive one. And I remember distinctly uh, looking at her and saying, for you, my darling, it doesn't matter the cost of the food. And I got up and I turned and I saw the leader documents and I paused really inside and basically said, how can I say something like this to my pet and not turn around and be able to support uh, human beings? We're in the middle of a spot where we have nothing for food. So anybody like me, I'm better now, but five years ago, the thought of going up the hill or even getting on the bus because I was in pain to go do groceries, nah, nah, I'm gonna go to the corner store. So my groceries, instead of being $100 of groceries, I'm getting 50 bucks worth of groceries because it's so expensive. To be honest with you, if Centrade wasn't around to find people like you, I'd be sitting at home right now.